One of the more common methods to find the area of a polygon given the coordinates of the vertices is to systematically calculate the areas under each segment or side of the polygon to either the y or x axis. These areas make trapezoids with positive and negative areas, the sum of which will determine the area of the polygon itself. Starting with the point labeled x1, y1 and proceeding to the subsequent point labeled x2, y2, the area of the trapezoid is the product of the height, x2 minus x1, and the average of the lengths of the bases, y2 plus 1 divided by 2. This is a positive area because x2 is larger than x1. Continuing with the point labeled x2, y2 and proceeding to the subsequent point labeled x3, y3, the area of this trapezoid is the product of the height, x3 minus x2, and the average of the lengths of the bases, y3 plus y2 divided by 2. This is a positive area because x3 is larger than x2. Next, with the point labeled x3, y3 to the subsequent point labeled x4, y4, the area of this trapezoid is the product of its height, x4 minus x3, and the average of the lengths of the bases, y4 plus y3 divided by 2. This is a negative area because x4 is less than x3 value. Similarly, the area under the segment starting with the point labeled x4, y4 to its adjacent point labeled x5, y5 is the product of the height, x5 minus x4, and the average of the lengths of the bases, y5 plus y4 divided by 2. This is a negative area because x5 is less than x4 in value. Similarly, the area under the segment starting with the point x, uh, labeled x5, y5 is to its adjacent point labeled x1, y1 is the product of the base of the height, x1 minus x5, and the average of the lengths of the bases, y1 plus y5 divided by 2. This is a positive area because x1 is greater than x5 in value. Combining all the positive and negative areas, factoring out the half, canceling out the zeros, and looking for a pattern in the positives and negatives, In this example, all the coordinates are positive, whole numbers, but in a survey, that's not too different. In addition, it doesn't matter if the numbers cross the x or y axes or the polygon is convex or concave. Here's the application of the discovered pattern. Please note that the last row must be adjusted to get the cells with the starting point coordinates. Here's the solution to this example. 